A recently surfaced audio recording of Jermel Charlo boasting about physically confronting his girlfriend has sent shockwaves through the boxing community. The boxing world has responded to Jermel's actions with condemnation, labeling it as utterly disgusting. Look, bro, bro, look, 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 look. I thought she was tough, bro. bro I thought, all right, hey, hey, I'm going to do Hey, hey, can I show you? I hit that bitch like this. Fuck, in the eye. Socked her in the eye. Big, swole, purple, can't open. That bitch called the cops on me. Like a woman. Like a regular woman. Blue Blood Sports TV expressed a deep sense of disgust upon hearing the recording, refusing to acknowledge Jermel's achievements in light of such appalling behavior. The leaked audio captures Jermel displaying excitement and satisfaction about the incident, further highlighting the distressing nature of the situation. His derogatory remarks towards his girlfriend reflect a despicable mindset, portraying him in a truly disgraceful light. This scandal appears to have severely damaged Jamal Charlo's reputation and career prospects. The broader boxing community's reaction to this leaked recording has been one of dismay and repulsion, with many expressing outrage and calling for appropriate consequences for Jermel's reprehensible actions. The future appears uncertain for Jermel Charlo, as his career hangs in the balance. Recent events have painted a grim picture for the boxing star. Jermel Charlo, the unified light middleweight champion, encountered significant legal issues after being arrested in Texas over the weekend. He faces charges of misdemeanor mistreatment causing bodily injury to a family member, as confirmed by the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office. Court records reveal that the 33-year-old athlete from Texas was released on bond soon after his arrest on Monday. Subsequent reports on Tuesday disclosed that the individual who brought about Charlo's arrest was identified as his partner, Cheyenne Westbrook. This troubling situation has cast a shadow over Jermel Charlo's future in boxing, raising concerns about the potential ramifications of these legal troubles on his career. Westbrook has taken steps by filing for a temporary restraining order and initiating divorce proceedings from Jermel, the boxer associated with Premier Boxing Champions, PBC, as reported by ESPN. Despite attempts to reach out for comment, Charlo's promoter has yet to respond to text messages. Evidently, the relationship between Westbrook and Charlo has been strained for a while. Earlier this year, a video clip surfaced showing Jermel's ex-partner expressing anger towards him which quickly went viral and sparked considerable attention and commentary from fans and online users. The video captured her vehemently confronting him outside a residence, expressing frustration by repeatedly stating, you in front of my house, among other strong statements. However, it's important to note that this incident does not justify or excuse the leaked audio recording in which Charlo boasts about using physical force to mistreat his partner. Unfortunately, this isn't the first instance where Charlo has found himself in trouble, adding to the concerning pattern of behavior surrounding the boxer. An ESPN report recently disclosed an unsettling incident involving Jermel Charlo back in May 2018. Charlo faced charges of felony domestic violence, but he was ultimately acquitted after a jury declared him innocent. The charges stemmed from an altercation with his former girlfriend, Jasmine Allison, Allegedly, Charlo was involved in a dispute with Allison on May 17th, where he was accused of attempting to choke her. This incident occurred while Charlo was preparing for his title defense against Austin Trout at Derek James's gym in Dallas, according to reports from the boxing scene. It was claimed that Charlo forcefully grabbed Allison's neck, pushed her against a fence, and pulled her hair during the altercation. Following his booking into the Dallas County Jail on May 18th, Charlo was released on a $20,000 bail. Additionally, his former partner sought a civil order of protection against the boxing champion in light of the incident. In March 2022, a jury acquitted Jermel Charlo of the charges against him. However, despite this, there was still an arrest warrant issued for Charlo due to an incident where he allegedly made threats to end someone's life. TMZ Sports reported the charge as a terroristic threat, with the victim purportedly being a 21-year-old cousin of the Charlo twins. This added to a tumultuous period for Charlo in boxing. The Texan boxer experienced a disappointing year, culminating in a unanimous decision loss against Canelo Alvarez at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas in September. 
The boxer hailing from Houston made a significant move by stepping up two weight classes to challenge the Mexican superstar for his IBF, WBA, WBC, and WBO super middleweight titles. Regrettably, upon entering the ring against Alvarez, Jermel Charlo was immediately stripped of his WBO light middleweight title. Subsequently, although he relinquished his IBF light middleweight title, Charlo still holds on to the WBA and WBC 154-pound belts. The public reaction to Jermel's arrest and leaked audio recordings was striking. Ben The Bane Davis, an MMA media personality, YouTuber, and analyst, responded with a mix of disgust and disappointment. In his video commentary, Davis expressed shock and strong disapproval of Charlo's behavior, highlighting the seriousness of the situation and its adverse effects on Charlo's standing as a role model within the sports community. Davis initially noted that he typically wouldn't address such a topic in a video, but felt compelled to do so due to its significant gravity. As an MMA analyst, he proceeded to play the leaked audio of Charlo boasting about mistreating his partner. Davis's reaction to the audio was one of complete disbelief and disgust. He strongly criticized Charlo for his behavior, deeming it despicable and unacceptable for anyone, especially for a public figure and athlete who serves as a role model for many. Davis emphasized that Charlo's actions were not only a failure in the realm of athletics, but also as a human being. He expressed strong disdain, stating, it's disgusting. It's despicable behavior from a human being. I don't care about the athletic career. Davis voiced concern about the message Charlo's actions might send to his fans and followers, particularly those who look up to him for inspiration in their pursuit of physical training and self-improvement. He raised doubts about the kind of role model Charlo portrays given his behavior. Davis stressed that Charlo is accountable not only in the public eye, but also morally and ethically. The MMA analyst expressed hope for the victim, Charlo's partner, to receive the necessary support and recovery. Additionally, he expressed skepticism about Charlo's ability to reflect on his actions and comprehend the seriousness of the situation. This skepticism stemmed from Charlo's seemingly casual and almost joyful tone when recounting the mistreatment in the leaked audio. Another influential figure, Blue Blood Sports TV also condemned Charlo for his actions. The YouTuber had a notably strong reaction to Charlo's behavior. Blue Blood Sports TV delivered an impassioned response to Jermel Charlo's arrest and the leaked audio. The commentator's reaction was marked by a deep sense of disgust and a strong call for accountability in light of the disturbing revelations. The host struggled to put his feelings into words, expressing a profound sense of disgust and being emotionally overwhelmed. He explicitly conveyed his hesitation in recognizing Charlo's accomplishments in the boxing ring due to the seriousness of the situation. As a father of four daughters, the commentator emphasized the personal resonance of the incident, stressing its effect on anyone with daughters or concern for women's well-being. He labeled the audio as disturbing and repulsive, emphasizing that such behavior is completely inappropriate, emphasizing that it has no place in society, let alone in the realm of professional sports. The commentator expresses a profound sense of disbelief and disappointment at someone like Charlo, who is expected to be a role model, engaging in such despicable behavior. He expresses strong disgust, stating, I'm so disgusted in what I just heard, I don't even want to give this dude his accolades. One of the primary points he emphasizes is the responsibility of men, especially fathers, to take a stand against such actions. He questions how anyone, especially those close to Charlo, who are fathers themselves, could continue to support him after this incident. Specifically naming individuals in the boxing community like Derek James and Errol Spence, he wonders how they could maintain their association with Charlo, despite being aware of his actions. Furthermore, the commentator touches on the broader implications of the incident, discussing how it reflects societal attitudes towards women and violence. He highlights the need for a collective understanding of the severity of such behavior and its impact on society's perceptions and treatment of women. He critiques the belief that women can match men in terms of physical strength, arguing that this perspective might rationalize violence against women. 
Throughout the video, Blue Blood's tone reflects moral outrage. He firmly advocates for the termination of Charlo's career, asserting that there should be no place for him in professional boxing after such reprehensible actions. He emphasizes that this issue surpasses Charlo's ability to sustain a career. It's about the message conveyed to society if Charlo continues without facing serious repercussions. Additionally, the commentator expresses deep concern for the victim, hoping she receives the necessary support and justice she deserves. He underscores the significance of standing up for what is right and not permitting fame or athletic prowess to excuse such behavior. Blue Blood Sports TV's reaction was powerful, but the question remains, will Jermel Charlo genuinely face a ban from the sport of boxing? The repercussions stemming from Charlo's arrest and the leaked audio detailing his alleged mistreatment extend far and wide, potentially reshaping the course of his career and his position in the boxing world. As a professional athlete, Charlo not only represents a public figure, but also serves as a role model, intensifying the scrutiny surrounding his actions. These allegations have dealt a significant blow to Charlo's reputation in the sports realm, particularly within boxing, a discipline already contending with issues of violence. Such off-ring behavior is particularly damning, especially considering the leaked audio where Charlo appears to boast about the mistreatment, portraying a lack of remorse and comprehension of the seriousness of his actions. This situation could result in a loss of respect from fans, fellow boxers, and the broader public. The repercussions from the boxing community's backlash might have tangible consequences for Charlo's career. Promoters and boxing federations could hesitate to associate with him, affecting his chances of securing fights. Consequently, this could lead to a considerable loss of income and opportunities for Charlo. Furthermore, boxing commissions and sanctioning bodies might take disciplinary actions, potentially suspending or revoking his boxing license. Such actions directly impact his ability to compete in the sport. Athletes often heavily rely on endorsements and sponsorships as a significant part of their income. Given the nature of the allegations against Charlo, companies are increasingly sensitive to the public image of the athletes they sponsor. This sensitivity could lead to a potential impact on Charlo's endorsement deals and financial stability. Sponsors might perceive it as risky to link their brand with Charlo, potentially resulting in the loss of valuable deals. Beyond the immediate outcomes, Charlo's standing and legacy in the world of boxing might face irreparable damage. Achievements made within the ring could be eclipsed by actions taken outside of it. An athlete's legacy isn't solely built upon their professional accomplishments, but also hinges on their behavior and the values they embody. This incident has the potential to become a defining moment in Charlo's career moving forward. It could significantly impact how he is remembered and regarded in the realm of boxing. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.